Hey, hey everybody, welcome to Game Time. My name is Jake J, and today I'm going to start off my PS1 collection. Now I'm going to have to do this in parts because there's so many good PS1 games. It was a great generation of games. Uh, it was a great console. There were so many good games on that console. Compare If you compare games from back in the PS1, PS2 generation for releases compared to today, there were so many more good games that were coming out on a regular basis back then on a weekly basis compared to today. It just To me it seems like games just cost too much to make these days that they can't release the amount of games they used to and it's too bad because you know what the PS2 generation, the PS1 generation there was games coming out and they were, there were so many good ones, so many good ones. So I'm going to start going through a lot of my PS1 and PS2 games and kind of you know giving you my thoughts on them and stuff. Um, why? Because I've got a lot to talk about when it comes to these games. There's so many good ones that I've played. You know, you've got the Tony Hawk series. You've got the, all your awesome RPGs. The PS2, you know, like you've got your Burnouts. You've got your, you know, oh, I can just sit here. Your Fatal Frames. You've got your Dot Hacks. You've got your Devil May Cries. You've got, there's so much good stuff that came out for those generations that it's hard to just put it all in one video. So I'm going to have to do this in parts. And this is going to be part one of my PS1 games. I'm going to try to do to about 20 games per part give or take, which would give me quite a few videos to make, but it would give me the time to sit there and at least talk about the, these games instead of just sitting there going through games, you know, so I just find this to be more personal and a little bit more. So I grabbed the first stack of my PS1 games and I just put them aside here and we're going to start going through them. And like I said, there's many games here that I did play, there's many games here that I didn't play as much, but you know what, I have them because I have tried them. I have you know there's good experiences there's bad experiences of video games you know some games you hate but you still like them because it brings you back to a time where you remember playing it with a certain person or a certain place in a certain place you know it's awesome so we'll start this off with some ps1 games so we've got gran turismo now i the original was fucking oh <laughs> sorry was phenomenal you know like it, it, i actually did play this racing game even though i don't play too many racing games because of of when it came out, you know, like it was just for its time. This was the the greatest racing. I know so many people who love this game, still love this game, even though it keeps coming out and full of glitches and stuff like that. But the originals were really good. Gran Turismo 2 was phenomenal as well. It's somewhere in the pile. They're not organized as much as you might think. <laughs> so I just grabbed the pile and this is what we're going to go through. But the original Gran Turismo was pretty damn sweet. I would definitely have, definitely one to have in your PS1 collection. Hydro Thunder fun racing game another one you know uh you know what there was a few racing games for ps1 i did play just because they were quirky and neat you know jet moto uh roll cage those are all good games you know so what else we got here bloody roar bloody roar was a good fighting game okay uh, i remember playing this on the arcade uh very fast paced and i love the transformation you know you gotta remember back in the day this is where my teens i love this stuff you know it was a phenomenal game to play with your friends you know uh, we've got <laughs> Can't Stop Mr. Domino. I can't say I've played it a whole lot. I do love puzzle games, but I didn't play a whole lot of puzzle games back in the day on the PS1. So, um, good to have for the collection, but I'm still going to have to really try that one out. Okay. Uh, what, well, what's this one called? Spin Jam. This is another of those random PS1 games. You'll see these every once in a while where it's just a weird game and you've never heard of it. And I kind of call it shovelware because... It's one of those games that are just like released for the sake of being released, you know, like it's nothing fancy and I bet you if you try it, it's a load of garbage, plain and simple. Um, but I end up with them every once in a while. You'll see these kinds of games pretty often when it comes to the PS1 later in the, you know, the life of the system. Xena, Warrior Princess donated to me. Um, I have yet to try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I remember the watching the show, you know, Lucy Lawless, um, watch Spartacus if you're a big fan of her, if you know what I mean. Uh, Smurf Racing, I haven't yet to try it, but I'm guessing it's a lot like Crash Team Racing, but with some Smurfs, so slap up the jokey Smurf and, uh, throw some exploding presents. Swagman, this is another one I haven't had a chance to really try either. Um, it does look really neat because I like the style of graphics. It kind of looks like a little bit of a Sega Frontier graphics. If you played Sega Frontier on the back, you know, it's got kind of that 3D, you know, on a different kind of background. It looks really, really neat, but I have yet to really give it a shot. So we'll grab another little stack here. 
Um, we've got Dragon Ball Z Final Bout. Now, this is not the original release. This is the re-release that they came out with uh, later in the, the system's life because the original was so hard to find and was getting very, very expensive on eBay, blah, 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 stuff like that. It is still expensive enough, but if you're content with just having the game in the collection, I was able to find just the re-release one of it which is actually pretty neat because it's in good shape, you know, nice artwork and everything like that. But the original was pretty hard to find. I used to play it on a burnt copy with one of my buddies called Buddy. Yeah. If he sees this, he'll see the shout out. Ah, ADV Quad Power Racing. I have not actually played this one. Um, like I said, I didn't play a whole lot of racing games back in the day. I was playing Roll Cage more than anything. But uh, you know what? For the collection, the fifth element. Love the movie. I have... The game's okay. Like, it's nothing phenomenal, you know. I haven't played it a whole, whole lot, but it's still really, really cool to have for the game. You know, there's stuff that only comes out for a certain generation of games because that's what's popular for that generation, right? Um, you've got your Fifth Element was coming out that day, you know, those around that time. So, you know, they, you know, they come out with a game for it. You know, you won't see that today. You're not going to see a Fifth Element game come out today. It's way past, and like they may, unless they make a Fifth Element 2. Which they might, who knows, right? Um, Roll Cage, we were just talking about this. This is one of my favorite racing games for the PS1. I love it because it's just the physics of your car. It's fun, it's fast paced, it's too bad the Kickstarter for the second game. You know, the remake of this game didn't go, you know, but I'm sure they'll make a remake to this game soon enough. But it's it's sweet because you've got your friggin' your cart and you can actually flip it upside down. So you can do crazy ass flips and actually land on your top and keep going, right? It's really cool for tunnels and stuff where you can drop down and everything. It's it's a phenomenal game, if if not just to screw around and mess around with your friends in multiplayer, you know, going through tunnels and stuff. It's phenomenal. Um, we've got Mega Man Legends 2. Now, for some reason, this game is really, really rare. It's an expensive one to find, you know. Um, it's a fun game. Like, don't get me wrong. For Mega Man, it is a fun adventure and everything, but it's really long and boring, okay? It is not nothing really super, super fun, but it's okay. You know, if you want to change the pace when it comes to Mega Man games, slap in Mega Man Legends or Mega Man Legends 2. It's a cool 3D-based world and everything, but if you, I prefer Mega Man X Command Missions for the PS2. It's such a better 3D world, a funner adventure, lots of collectibles. It's a fun journey. I say pick that one up and play that one over this one. But if you see this one at a good price and you're collecting video games, you know, scoop that up because it is a really, really, really rare one to find for the collection, you know. Um, Twisted Metal 3, uh, surprisingly enough, I do not have the actual case for this one. Um, but I'm a big Twisted Metal 2 fan. Twisted Metal 3 is fun because, you know, it does do a lot that Twisted Metal 2 did as good as well, you know, um, so I really enjoy playing it. It's one of my, as a lot of my friends love this one over 2, but I love 2 the best, you know. Uh, Alright, last little stack here and we'll end off part 1 for my PS1 games. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. Hope there's some of these games that uh, you guys are going to go and try out, you know. Uh, Duke Nukem, Land of the Babes. These are the days of uh, third person Duke Nukem games that I did not like. I prefer a first person Duke Nukem game. Uh, Motocross Mania, another one of, example of those games that came out at the end of the PlayStation generation in my opinion. Okay, I'm look, it's looking pretty late there, 2001, you know, um, just to say that there's games coming out for the console. It's nothing fancy, you know, if you want to slap it in and just piss around or something like that. I say pick it up. Nothing, uh, nothing worthwhile, though. Um, the Collector's Edition games. Um, now, we've got a bunch of these here. Now, these ones are actually hard to find when you're buying them online. They're expensive enough um, just because they all came in their own little cardboard sleeve. So I've got Crash Team Racing, NASCAR Rumble, Sled Storm, and Crash Bash, and they all say ah, Collector's Edition at the top. Now, it's come to my attention that these are hard enough to find and they fetch a decent price online. So if you see them, hold on to them, you know, because they're, they're good tradables, if even more or less, if you really, really want to go that way give to trade to people for something else you want or something like that but it's good to know that there are some later releases for the console that are actually you know worth collecting you know because these I don't have the cardboard uh, sleeve that they came in unfortunately but 
um, like the Crash Team Racing, the Crash Bash, and I probably I might have the other one somewhere down the, down there somewhere. I'll see what uh, what happens in the next video. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure they came with three games inside a sleeve, and uh, yeah, I ended up with a couple of the. There was like a racing package and then a Crash Bandicoot package, so there might be a couple more there that I just haven't uh, grabbed for this video. So yeah, there's uh, quite a few good PS1 games already that I just just went through. Crash Bash is a phenomenal. This is when uh, you know Mario Party was a uh, along its big craze. You know, it was just just coming out. You know, so Crash Bash was kind of its little knockoff. Uh, Crash Team Racing, of course, you know, just because Mario Kart was coming out, and nothing beats Mario Kart when it comes to kart racing, but Crash Team Racing actually did a pretty decent job. If you, I've, I'm pretty sure I've got the original release, too. It's got the nice shiny cover and everything. Um, NASCAR Rumble. I didn't play a whole lot of racing games, okay? <laughs> but I do have a lot of racing games. Um, a lot of my friends love the, Ras the NASCAR games, just because it's NASCAR. There's demolition derby games and stuff that my buddies like. Um, I usually have those just so that they can play it. It's pretty neat. So, yeah, NASCAR Rumble and Sledstorm. Um, like I said, I don't play a whole lot of racing games, but Sledstorm was actually pretty neat. This is an early PS1 game that I actually played quite a few because there was a, it was on a demo. It was on a demo disc that I owned, so I didn't have a whole lot of games at that time. So I actually played the demo to Sledstorm more than I actually played the actual game. So, yeah, that's the first little stack for today. And we'll see what happens for the next video. And that, and the next video should have another 20 games, and we'll see how far I get. Peace out, happy gaming, and we'll see you next time. Ciao!